Hello everyone and welcome back to our second tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to upload an avatar for the Quest platform. So this video is going to assume that you've already downloaded the correct version of Unity and if you have not done so I do have a link to my previous tutorial on how to upload on PC in which I go over all of the downloads that you're going to need for this tutorial. So you'll need to download three things for this tutorial. The first one is going to be the VRChat Avatar SDK, the Poyomi Tune Shader, and a Quest compatible avatar package, all which are going to be linked down below. So I have Unity Hub open right now. I'm just going to click on New Project. Name it something. Today I have an avatar named Jenny, <laughs> but I've already made one, so I'll do Jenny1. Uh, we're going to make sure 3D is checked and put it in any location that you want to save it. Okay, so once your Unity is loaded up, we're going to want to go to the place that we've saved all of our Unity packages that are required for this tutorial. So I've got my packages nicely saved here. The first one that I'm going to upload is the latest VRC SDK 3. Make sure everything is checkmarked and import. So once that's downloaded, you should see a VRC SDK folder at the bottom and this VRChat SDK tab at the top. Next, we're going to be importing uh, the Poyomi shaders that are needed for this avatar specifically. Making sure everything's checkmarked in that and import. Okay, so that should be imported as well. Finally, we're going to want to import our avatar. Okay, so it looks like our avatar has been imported. Here we can see Jenny by Red. Going to click on that. Most likely there's going to be a scene for your avatar that you're going to be able to find. And uh, since we haven't messed around with this scene, we don't need to save it. So it looks like we have our non-optimized version of Jenny and our optimized version. Unfortunately, the unoptimized one we won't be able to upload for Quest because the file size would just be too big. So from here, we're going to need to go up to the top in the VR chat SDK. Click on show control panel and we're going to need to sign in. All right, so once you're signed in, you can go into the builder. It looks like uh, this is good for PC, so we could upload it right now, but we're doing it for quests. So what we're going to want to do is switch this target build to Android. We're going to hit confirm. So once that's done, depending on your model, you may see a lot of errors in the builder. For me specifically, that's because I'm not using the correct shaders on my materials. Okay, so in order to change the materials on your avatar, I like to go into body. And we can see here all of the materials. We can see them here as well, but this is where I like to find them. So we can see that shorts, if I click on that, it automatically takes us to the shorts right here. Uh, same as sports bra, everything else. Now, depending on whether or not you have a PC model, you can always duplicate this using control D. So you click on shorts, control D, and that gives you a new material. I'm going to rename it Shorts Quest. And now I'm going to change the material. So what VRChat likes us to use are anything in the VRChat category. So coming into the top here, VRChat, mobile. And anything here will really work, but uh, typically it's going to be Toonlit, Standard Light, or Matte Caplet. So I'm going to click on Toonlit for all the clothing, and then I'm probably going to do Matte Caplet for the skin. 
So we can see it's been simplified a lot from Poyomi to the VR chat mobile shader. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on this, drag it up to the pants. So going back to the optimized avatar, I'm going to click on body and click on sports bra. That's our next one. We're going to do the exact same process for every single one of the materials. So I'm going to speed through that really quick. VR chat, mobile, and this is where I like to do matte cap lit for our skins. If we put it on, we can see it It looks a little off. It's a little more pale. You can see there's a little bit more definition to the face, whereas some parts over here are just pretty much the same color no matter where you turn the camera. So if you install Poyomi like I did, the matte cap RGB, I'm just going to select that. And we're going to type over here, matte cap. Now you don't need to know too much about a matte cap before actually using it, but one you're probably going to want to use is a skin colored one. So like this, this one, this one, or this one. So just make sure you remember which matte cap you are using so that you can apply the same one to your face. So now I'm just going to fill in the rest for the hair and the shoes. That seems to be our first issue solved with our avatar, and if we go back into the builder, we shouldn't be able to see all those errors that we had before. Our one issue now is that our avatar size is too high. We need to reduce it. If you don't have this issue, you might as well uh, be able to just build and publish for Android. But what I'm going to do first is show you how to fix textures if they're just too high quality for Quest. So going into the body, we're going to go into the shorts. And I already fixed this one off camera, but we're going to need to find the source of this image. So we're going to click on it. Click on the shorts. And make sure the max size is lower. It's going to start at probably 2048. I just reduced it to 512, and now it's under a megabyte. We're going to do this with every single material here. So, for example, this one's 5.3 megabytes. Put it over to 512. And now we have that down to less than half a megabyte. Okay, so once that's compressed, we'll go into the control panel and we'll see that it's the exact same. What? We're gonna build and publish. So apparently uh, Unity doesn't automatically update um, how big an avatar is. I'm not quite sure why it's scaled like that. I'm gonna change the scale over here to 1920 by 1080? Oh. Landscape. There we go. Name her Jenny. Mine's V2. What I'm going to do uh, just to change the upload image is I'm going to go back into the scene, scroll out a bit, and this is the camera where you can change the position of it. You can change the rotation if you want to. I'm pressing E to do that. So I'm going to go back into the game tab up here. And as we can see, it's it's changed a little bit. And I can agree that the above information is accurate. I have the rights to upload this content, and I'm going to click Upload. And if you did everything well, it should say Update Complete. Launch VR Chat to see your uploaded content. So this is a version of the avatar that I uploaded a while ago, just because I'm don't have access to a quest right now to show you guys the results, but it should look exactly like it did in Unity. I do hope this tutorial helped some people out and made sure that a few more people were able to upload to VRChat. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Alright, time to, time to edit this bitch.
141. I can get this out by dinner.